Yes, yes. It's the Raphael Dawkins with the Combat Radio. And this is the story of Fabio Wardley getting jumped by David Adelaide and crew. Okay, so first of all, we're going to look out how it ended. And there you see Fabio Wardley getting tripped by a post. A uh, false uh, speculation. There's a lot of speculation that this guy here dropped Fabio Wardley, who you can see on the floor here, and the post. The thing that actually dropped him was this post. Let's go back and have a look at how it ended, and then we'll finish with how it started. You know how we do here at the RDCR. Let's go. Fabio Wardley there. You see he's over here. He starts in the upright position over here. This guy's arm is no way, no way long enough. He ain't Inspector Gadget. But he did feature initially, originally. Okay, yeah, get out of Dodge, boy. Get out of Dodge. Stepping over the hot stepper, stepping over the post. Okay, and, uh, okay, so that's the end of the thing. David Adelaide is round there somewhere out of frame okay so now let's go to the beginning let's go to the genesis how this thing all started i think fabio wardley is fighting david adelaide on the undercard of fury versus in ganu i'll talk about that in a in a later video fabio wardley's been asked if he thinks that john fury says that there's a risk that Fury could get choked out or get his arm broken in an arm lock or his leg broken in a leg lock. Uh, forgetting that Francis Ngannou is really a striker, MMA fighter, but a striker. Not really a submission grappler, although of course he had to learn wrestling uh, to survive and become king in the UFC heavyweight division. Let's get the volume up. I think everyone's everyone's too respectful. Everyone's too respectful, and then the atmosphere changes, changes in the room when Fabio Wardley notices David Adelaide and his marauding crew. Let's have a look. Radio Rahim picks up on it, and he must have the crappiest cameraman. Well, no, the picture quality is good, but he's got to have the crappiest cameraman in terms of awareness. The cameraman sees that everybody's eyes are focused to the left. But what does he do? He keeps the camera there. Idioto. Idioto. Should have turned the camera to capture the ensuing carnage. But let's go. Okay. Uh, he, he even tells him, he says, hey, 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 look. I just said, turn the camera an expletive in there friggin hell have some awareness you dozy so and so let's go David Adelaide and his marauding crew are advancing but the cameraman doesn't show it we can see they're getting closer he's saying turn the damn camera turn it turn it you imbecile and uh, situational awareness not really good with these cats over here Okay, Radio Rahim indicates what's going on. Cameraman still too dozy. Watch it, watch it. And, uh, Fabio Wardley steps forward because he knows it's on. What's this fool doing? He's saying to himself, what's this fool doing? I have my suspicions about these sunglasses. They look kind of, I don't know, look like he paid top dollar for them in a legit store. Should have got them off the market, mate. You should have got him off the market in the ball ring. Where is he? Oh, sorry, they're not in Birmingham. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Oh, there's Adelaide right there. Remember, Adelaide approached Wardley sometime previously, but he bottled it. He bottled it. He intended to put it on him pre uh, previous uh, time uh, when Wardley was being filmed. This is his second bite of the cherry. And he didn't bottle it this time. He built himself up, put hands on him and that was a serious shove 
the expensive sunglasses, the expensive shades are now history. They are no more. Should have got them off the market. Go keep your real pair for, you know, a less combative environment, situation, situational awareness. Radio Rahim has a look of pain. He's like, oh, no. And, oh, oh. This guy here wakes up, what's going on? She's still dozy. She don't know what's, she don't know nobody. She don't know what's going on. Okay, and then he gets a significant shove from the hands of Adelaide. And he is the guy with the cap. And he comes in. So it looks like it was an orchestrated event because we have Wardley with the push and his fellow marauder coming right in. Looks orchestrated. Adelaide with the push and his fellow marauder goes under. You will notice he has to lift up a lift up the, 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 the tape, whatever you call that thing. The plastic, whatever, divider. The marauder comes in, in between Adelaide and Wardley. Knowing Wardley will be focused on Adelaide. He holds his cap, keeps his cap straight. Wardley goes in to remonstrate and demonstrate his chagrin at the assault. This guy comes in, two hands under the armpit. Goes to the forearm, pushes him off, uh, forearm there, does it connect with the face? He's still posting with the left hand, personally, you grab that wrist there, twist it around, crack with the right, that's what he, that's what he was asking for, okay, so it pushes Wardley off. This guy here is Team Wardley, is the one with the man bun, and he comes in, pushes the marauder with the cap back. That cap man gets pushed back by bun man. What happens? And we see the post, we see the multiple posts, the, the place was kind of roped off. Plastic rope, whatever you call that, and there, there, with the expensive looking shades. Now without the arms, or have they folded in? What kind of build quality are we talking about there? Uh, damn, that's almost, that's almost Andy Warhol-ish. Almost Andy Warhol-ish. On a moment, I feel like I should end the video right there, but now, because it ain't over. That's, oh damn, what's that? Oh, what kind of energy drink was that? Was that Furiosity? Was, Fury, was that a pint of Furiosity on the ground? You know you can get them uh, energy drinks, Tyson Fury's energy drinks, Furiosity 3 for a pound in Heron. 3 for a pound in Heron. Damn. The expensive shades. The Furiosity. <laughs> Imploding. <laughs> oh, M, G. There's the post, and actually, I think that's. Is that Wardley's foot? No, I think that's Wardley's foot. Wardley's already tripped over it. It's somebody else who is about to trip over the post. The glasses, the Furiosity, and Wardley there already tripped somebody else just doing the hot stepper. There we go, Wardley. Tripping over, boom, boom, boom. That's Wardley's foot. If anyone can tell me the name of that footwear, I'll try and avoid it. Okay. And there's the man bun man coming in to give Catman some seconds. O M J. Wardley still down. Yeah, not impressed with that Wardley being pulled back there. Uh, later on, he inquires about his glasses. Catman there. There he is. There he is. Okay. Bond man. Where's Catman? He's out of here. 
Fabio Wardley. I can't help but think that couldn't have been the glasses because the, the shades, because the shades came off pretty soon. Where's my glasses? Hey, you're bleeding. You're bleeding. Where's my glasses? Where's my glasses? Yo, why are you filming this? <laughs> Where's my glasses? And, uh, what is he? Where's my glasses? And then Radio Rahim, situational on awareness, he goes, uh, what, what was that all about? <laughs> o M G blood's dripping. People have got blood on them. That's bang out of order. That's bang out of order. Fabio yeah. finds his glasses and it was a most unfortunate, most unfortunate scene. So what do I think about this? If I was Woodley, I would not be happy. I understand you do things to build a fight and whatnot, but this, you know what I mean, you, you, you cut the guy. Fortunately, it's not going to be a cut that's going to interfere with the fight. When's the fight anyway? Where are we now? September? October? Yeah. It's not going to be a, a cut that rules him out of the fight. It's a little nick. But there's no way in hell Fabio Woodley is going to be happy. He's going to see it as a violation. He was going to bang up Adelaide anyway. But now, this is going to give him extra fuel. And Adelaide, well, he's going to have extra fuel because Wardley's got extra fuel. So, if he intended to build a fight, he's certainly done that. But uh, he is ensured that Wardley is going to come in with some serious, serious venom. And it was an absolute and utter liberty. If one man had come in, that would have been fine. But he had the second guy. He had the second guy, Catman, come in and uh, to do some secondary, uh, secondary defensive move. It was like a American football playbook move. Um, I didn't appreciate it, and I'm sure Woodley, Woodley would not appreciate it. That Catman deserved a little slap for that. Uh, Wardley will be saying to himself, deserve a slap for that. Um, not happy with it. I'm sure Wardley's not happy with it. I don't like it. But have your say. It's the Fury Nganu undercard, that masquerade of a masquerade of a fight. Um, I'm sure people will buy it anyway. I'm going to send Jeeves up on the roof. So have your say. David Adelaide and crew jump Fabio Wardley at the pre Fury and Ganu fight press conference. Have your say. It's Raphael Dawkins, the Combat Radio. I am out. Found the remnants of the sunglasses. O M. Gee.